it's very difficult to grow your platforms unless you're consistent. So doing one recipe a week wouldn't be enough. Like doing one, you know, one sort of motivational tweet and isn't enough. Like in the early days, I was so obsessed. Like breakfast, lunch, and dinner three times a day. I'd I'd film it. I'd post it. And so now, like people, I genuinely I'm putting up content that people are using. So I, I post it exactly the right time. So like I'll do a breakfast recipe in the morning. Oh, Joe, I'll you do, are um, so on it. Is you know, it? a dinner a dinner one on the way home. So the yeah. people are literally grabbing their phone on the train and they're going to Sainsbury's or Tesco's or whatever and getting the the products and going to make the recipe. So I see the impact and that's what motivates yeah. me. Like knowing that people are doing my YouTube workouts and that people are cooking my recipes. So it is. It, for me, it doesn't stress me out, but if I do need to, ha- need to have a break, I'll just put my phone, you know, in another room and just have a night off. So I can switch off. I'm not, like, massively obsessed with it, but in the early days, to grow and get that kind of traction, you've got to work really hard on social media. I did that last night. I was doing a bit of research for this interview. I saw some Brussels sprouts that you cooked, and I went straight out and bought some Brussels sprouts. Yeah, well, in L.A., delicious. I've been in L.A. for a couple of months, yeah. and they really, respect the Brussels, they really respect the Brussels sprout out there. You know, over here, like, you get on a Sunday roast and Nan boils it and it smells like fart, right? But when you when they do it in L.A., they, like, fry it in, like, kimchi or they, or they sort of roast it in all these lovely... Yeah. And add, like, raisins and it just... They love the Brussels sprouts. They're on every, so, you know, like, we have, like, macaroni cheese and truffle fries and that. Like, the thing yeah. out there in L.A. is definitely Brussels sprouts. And then you go back to L.A. next week. What's taking you back? It's just um, my little brother's coming over from Thailand to visit me for a week. So it's kind of like just relaxing and winding down because I've got a really busy January coming up with my new, like, book coming out and... Um, various stuff I'm doing some YouTube live stuff for the schools and stuff so yeah it's just I need because I work so intensely like I need to do it crack it out and then have a little break in between mm. then I'm more productive and I'm I'm better but in general with work and stuff yeah in terms of social media obviously a lot of people watching this who aspire to build um, businesses as successful as yours and to transform their lives in the way that you have transformed your own life and transformed yeah. other people um do you feel a kind of a responsibility to post the right stuff to inspire people? Um, I can almost predict like what a certain bit of content will do like across different platforms. So if I post like um, a breakfast recipe in the evening, I just know it will bomb. It just get no engagement because people don't want to sit. They're just having dinner. They're watching their TV or whatever. So I know I understand the importance of timing of posts, but it isn't a pressure. I genuinely love. I'm, I'm basically like a virtual personal trainer in your head, like encouraging you to exercise when you don't want to do it the most encouraging you to prep your meals and cook when you really can't be bothered but it's by having that little bit of um inspiration that i've really changed a lot of people's behaviors and their attitudes towards like eating and dieting and exercising so it's my mission like i always say like my mission is is to get the whole world like thinking about healthy food and getting them lean what do you tell people who want to do what you've done what's the secret so i think i stood out amongst the crowd of on you know millions of online trainers because my message was simple like you know you do have time you can do 15 minute meals you can do little home workouts and I think because I'm very I like to think that I'm really honest about how I live and I do have days where I don't want to train and I eat crap food and that's normal and the fact that I'm honest about it I'm not pretending to be like someone who's like a militant you know someone who's just 100% all the time people connect to that and I with lean in 15 I, I was just having fun I was messing around in my kitchen you know there was there's no brand or like marketing expert behind me I I didn't know what I was doing. I I accidentally became an author of a book, which went crazy. Like that book, I sold like one and a half million copies. Yeah. You know, not not, not with TV, like your traditional PR. Like it was just by building an audience and and having a community online and having people become fans of what you do. Like it, people always think I'm a marketing expert and I've studied it and went to uni and stuff. But I I literally didn't know what I was doing. I was just having a bit of fun and people were drawn to like my positivity and my energy and my kind of consistency. People see I work hard.